Hello everybody, this is Sunday, October the 9th, 2022, and I am at the Kentucky West Veterans uh, Cemetery, that's right, the Kentucky West Veterans Cemetery in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, which is where my dad is buried. So, dad passed away on October the 9th, 2014, which was eight years ago today. I miss my father very much, Arthur C. Right here, and the C stood for Charles, Arthur Charles, Arthur C. Oh, funny story, funny story. Um, Stephen's middle name is Charles. Um, uh, so I'm married to a Stephen Charles, and then my father's middle name is Charles. And incidentally, um, he's passed away now, but we had a neighbor who's uh, name had Charles in it. His first name was Charles. So Charles is just a very uh, common name for us, I guess. So that is Arthur Charles. And but the funny thing is, is that he would always say that he had the name for royalty. He would say King Arthur and Prince Charles, Arthur Charles. Of course, now it's not Prince Charles anymore. It's King Charles now. Look, look the wind is blowing my Bible. So, yeah, Dad would always say King Arthur and, and Prince Charles. But now that it's been a month since Queen Elizabeth II has passed away and Prince Charles is now King Charles. So, my dad would say King Charles, I guess. But, anyway... This is my dad's Bible that I he had when I was growing up. My dad, look at the wind. Look at that. The wind is just turning the pages. Uh, my dad had several Bibles. Well, you can really gauge the wind now. Yes, he liked a variety of different translations. He liked di several different translations. But I liked his New King James Bible. And I'm sorry. Uh... No, it's not the New King. I my my preference these days is the New King James, but this is the original King James. My dad's not New King James, but King James script, and um, I believe that. I just happen to like the New King James. It takes out all the wilts and shouts and counts, and but it still maintains the beauty of the King James. So, this Bible was given to Dad by my mom in February of 1977, and I wasn't even born until July of 78. And at this time, my mom had had my brother, who was born in 1975, and my sister, who was born in 1976. So, Peter was two, and Anna was one, and... My mom found this picture of a son and a daughter and a mom and a dad reading the Bible together. And uh, it just really spoke to my dad. And I'm not sure if I'm not sure if my mom or my dad had this put in my dad's Bible. But this was symbolic, symbolic of my dad, symbolic of Anna and Peter and my mom and then of course she had two more later after that but just um symbolic of a man teaching his family about the bible and so one of the things that i really 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 wanted was uh when my dad passed away was his king james bible because i remember him reading it when i was a kid and look what I found. Treasure trove. Look at that. This is when my dad graduated from Southeastern Bible College in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, in 1975, I believe. That's the year that my brother was born. My parents were married in 74. And my dad graduated from Southeastern Bible College in, in Birmingham, Alabama in 1975. That's the year my brother was born. And then, wow, look at this. Now, this had to this had to have been no later than 1985. So, this would have been 1975. 
Interesting that I found these in the Bible. In 1985. I know this because this is the kitchen that I grew up with up until age of seven. Uh, this is the, the yellow kitchen from Birmingham, Alabama, which is where I was born and raised. Well, not raised, for seven years. So this is a picture of my dad measuring or doing something on the floor. So, had to have been 1985 or earlier. He looked like a, a mountain man right there. But yes, uh, because in 1985, we picked up and we moved to Hopkinsville, Kentucky. But I like the wear and tear in this Bible. I like the stains. I like seeing my dad's handwriting. And I'm going to close this video by talking about um, something that I wish that my dad had put a date on it. I wish that he had dated this. But my dad did write this. I just wish I knew when he had. Today, Father, I go forth today with your life of love and sacrifice for others emanating from me i know your grace is sufficient for all that i may encounter today this i believe to be the christian life regardless of how i feel or what others may say or think of where i go what i do or what i say is you today and if perchance i act independently of your life i know that you will use that momentary slip for your purpose as you have used every other past negative in man's eyes as a display of our of your nature even though even as the taking of your son's life today i go forth as you to a world that needs your life i'm thankful to know that there are those who have eyes that will recognize me as you my prayer is that you will open many other eyes that they too may see you in me as you for them today. Don't know when he wrote that, but that is taped to his King James Bible. Servant of God. Loving husband. Dad and Grandpa, servant of God. I just really wish that AJ would have been able to grow up knowing my father. It would have been really nice for my son to know my father. But it is what it is, and I can always continue to keep the memory of my dad alive. I love my daddy, and I miss my daddy. But praise be to God, he's with King Jesus. His bones are here, but that's about it. Amen.